Hi, this is John with the Despair Group. I'm here with Mike here uh, today to show you how to do a calibration with the horn telescope. We have the horn pointing up at the sky and you can see on the screen here we have the spectrum displayed. Um, the Right now you can see there's a looks like a little peak here at the hydrogen and if I were to zoom in on it okay you can see I could zoom in uh, there's definitely a peak there it's a little noisy if I go to long integration it smooths out a little bit one thing I want you to notice is the background here is definitely sloped upward doing a calibration will subtract that out and make a nice flat background so let's go ahead and get started on doing a calibration we have uh, two steps to this the hot calibration and the cold calibration and we're going to start off with the cold calibration. So I'm going to click to cold, and we are going to, uh, I'm going to switch to short integration because we have to find a place in the sky where there's no hydrogen. So no hydrogen bump. And you can see Mike's orienting the telescope, and it looks like uh, we've gotten rid of the bump, which is what we want. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to switch to long calibration and to give it a nice stable smooth curve here and I'll wait a few seconds make sure I'm happy with it, it doesn't seem to be adjusting at all nice and steady so I'm gonna go ahead I'm happy with it so I'm gonna hit hot calibration before I move the telescope as soon as I hit hot calibration that cold calibration is saved in a file and now the computer is looking to do a hot calibration so what we're gonna do is we're going to point the telescope at the ground that's our hot source notice the graph going higher okay there's stronger signal from the hot ground and in a similar fashion I'm going to uh, I leave it at long integration here because I know what I'm pointing at I wait for a nice steady signal looks like it's a pretty good signal so I'm going to go ahead and hit spectrum with calibration. I've just saved the hot calibration and now Mike is going to repoint the telescope back to our original point in the sky and you'll see the signal coming down here um, and we have a nice uh, horizontal background as I mentioned. Now one thing to notice here is that the background um, I'm going to change the maximum to 50 and then notice that the, it, it looks like the graph dropped below zero and in fact it did and uh, I went down to negative 60 as my zero uh, you can see we have a nice spectrum it just is that this negative the reason for that is most likely due to the system warming up and as good practice you should do recalibrations every once in a while during your your viewing uh, time and so we're going to go ahead and try that before we do that, I just want to look at the system temperature you can see the system temperature here is above 200 that's actually pretty high normally we'd expect system temperature around 100 to 150 sometimes even less than 100 so I'm gonna have Mike go ahead and do another calibration run and we'll start off with the cold calibration again and um, so I'm gonna switch to cold he is gonna point back at that that cold spot the graph oh, I'm gonna fix the graph here so we can can see it on the screen I'll go back to zero for the, the minimum and uh, I'll make a hundred or two hundred the maximum okay and you can see we're back to that that nice um, smooth stable signal okay I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm happy with it and we're going to go ahead and hit hot calibration so it restored the file for cold we're going to do the hot again and hopefully the system's a little more warmed up and it'll give us a pretty good reading now just out of curiosity I'm going to switch to the temperature uh, screen here and it was just going way up that's kind of interesting um, we have a stable system uh, signal I mean so if I go ahead and hit spectrum with calibration we can go ahead and point back to the sky I suspect because the system is still warming up it's still not going to be 
a perfectly uh, happy calibration. And sure enough, it seemed to be going negative again. No, no harm, it's a matter of time. You uh, can recalibrate at any point. And, um, but you, the point is you can get, a, you see a nice flat background here. And one thing when you're doing, this is a very useful spectrum. All you need to do is when you open it in some kind of a, a, a spreadsheet or whatever, you can subtract out this background level and bring it up to zero to do whatever analysis you want. So that's the steps for doing the calibration and good luck.